Surfer dude or wild horseman? Jason Momoa has the looks to pull off both. He became known to the world at large as Khal Drogo in Game of Thrones and most recently became Aquaman. With a body like his, it's no wonder that he insists on playing characters that spend most of their time topless. But he wasn't always the radical star he is today. Let's look at how he went from a fit young model to an untamed warrior. What's going on guys? My name is Paloma Lopez and you are watching the before and after transformation of Jason Momoa. As always, let me know who you'd like me to document next in the comments down below and let's get to it. Born in Hawaii to a photographer mother and a painter father, Jason was destined for the arts. But he didn't always know this. Prior to acting, he was an aspiring marine biologist, a lifeguard, and a surfer. He was actually the youngest lifeguard in the history of the Gulf Coast when he first assumed the post, which means he could have been the real Baywatch. His look at the time included a full head of dreadlocks, but these didn't last very long since Jason decided to chop them all off as soon as they began to give him headaches. I personally don't miss the dreadlocks very much, but that's just me. When Jason Momoa debuted in 1999 as part of the cast of Baywatch Hawaii, he was no chump. One thing that people may not appreciate by watching him on the screen is his height. Towering tall at six foot four inches, he has more than enough muscle on him to look good in any lifeguard uniform. And directors were taking notice of his charm. He would go on to appear in other television series such as Stargate Atlantis with a similar build but sporting a very important addition to his natural good looks, his beard. Nowadays, you'll likely see him wearing a full beard all the time. I personally, well, I'm a big fan of the beard. <laughs> Over the following years of his career, Jason would find himself taking roles that were more and more physically demanding. Starting with his portrayal as Khal Drogo in Game of Thrones, a role which required him to become a burly intimidating warrior lord, to his role in Conan the Barbarian, a movie which forced him to further change his body in order to portray a character that was last played by the legendary Arnold Schwarzenegger. His workouts consisted of 30 minutes of hardcore high repetition exercises designed to burn out the muscles and then keep pushing them further. It was pretty intense, he said. I had never trained at that level before, but it was really cool to transform my body. At a certain point, you become a robot. And the work didn't stop there. Jason was eating boiled chicken breasts every two hours, every single day, in order to support the energy that he was spending in the gym. When all was said and done, he packed on over 20 pounds of raw muscle in order to portray Conan. And that was after all that he had already bulked up to play Cal Drogo. With all this talk about how important his physique is, it may come to a surprise to you that Jason really isn't a fan of hitting the gym. Although he regularly walks around looking like a bodybuilder, Builder, he professes that his favorite physical activities include rock climbing, surfing, and biking, but not pumping iron. When asked about getting into shape for filming Game of Thrones, he had this to say. Before the season starts, what I try to do is climb, get in shape, and ride a bike. Once we start rolling, everything dissipates. So by the end of the year, I'm all, oh until they come in and say, um, you are supposed to be the bulk of the show. Then I would go to the gym. The results are undeniable, but that's not the only thing that's changed about Jason's appearance. Those with an attention to detail might notice that he has a scar on his left eyebrow. That's because Jason earned that battle scar in 2008 when a pint bottle was smashed against his face, leading him to take a quick trip to the hospital for his 141 stitches. Jason embraces his new scar by saying, I got called pretty boy my whole life. If anything, it's like, good, it's not my thing now. And that's not the only facial injury the star has had. In order to prepare for his role as Conan, he allowed his friend to punch him in the face, breaking his nose in an attempt to look uglier to fit the role. I wanted to have my nose broken for this role, but I wasn't sure how to accomplish it. I was like, dude, I have this idea. I think you should break my nose. Would you do it? My buddy just did it right away. Damn it. Now, that's a good friend. <laughs> But aside from the scar and the broken nose, Jason has also gotten a new tattoo with a special meaning. On his forearm, he sports shark teeth, which he says is a tribute to sharks and will serve as a way for them to recognize him when in the water. With his powerful build, towering height, and badass scar, we look forward to seeing him in future roles. He definitely has come a long way from guarding the beach to guarding the entire ocean and the world with it. So that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments who you'd like me to document next, and bye for now.